Well, today is Friday, and I left Simple Bed and Breakfast at around 8 o'clock this morning. It is 8.45. I'm moving along kind of slow. Uh, leg is still sore. I've got it in a brace. Uh, I got some KT tape on it also. Um, and so I did like a half a mile road walk to get back to Elisha Branch Road and then a little bit of a road walk to get back up to the trail and no sooner than I step on the trail it starts raining again <laughs> so uh yeah so Irma is pretty close to Florida I suspect it'll make landfall tomorrow or the next day and then a day or two after that I'll probably get a lot of rain here might be maybe three days, so by, uh, see if it landfalls Saturday, Sunday, Monday, probably Monday or Tuesday, I'm going to get a lot of rain here. Um, but I'm moving along kind of slow, like I said, kind of see where I'm going. Still going up this first hill off of Elisha Branch Road. Uh, goes to the top of the mountain, and then I'm not sure it levels out for a little while. The, uh, the knees aren't as sore right now as the braces are cutting into my leg. <laughs> so I may have to stop eventually and tight, loosen the braces up. Uh, I may have put them on too tight and then of course once I start hiking the muscles start swelling up. Um, so I'll, I'll probably have to loosen those up. You really got to watch these road walks. I do not know how many times I have nearly had to jump into the ditch because there is no berm on the side of the road, no walking lane, and people texting and driving, not paying attention where they're at. Then they realize there's a hiker ahead and they overcorrect. It is absolutely crazy, but I am just now at five miles for the day. It took me about four hours. So, if I can keep up this pace with my legs the way they are, that means I'll have 10 miles by 3.30 and 15 miles for the day by 8.30. That's kind of what I'm shooting for. Somewhere down along here, I'm going to find a place to take a break. Because I haven't had one in about two hours. I've just been walking along so slow. I mean, look. My heart rate, which is usually pegged. Is it going to come into focus? No. Either way, my heart rate, which is usually pegged, is actually like zone one all day instead of zone five. That's four and five. It's been an easy walk, it's just with the legs being sore. Not been a uh, very fast walk. So let me go ahead and jump off of here. We'll update later. Who knows what these are? Let's see if I can find one that's still a little green. Sometimes when they're still green, people are like, oh, I know exactly what that is. Uh, these are all changed. All right, well, if I can't find one that's still green, who knows what that tree is right there. With the bark peeling on it. Let me know in the comments. This cave has a river coming out of it, or a uh, spring coming out of it. And it's one of the few caves I've seen that aren't closed off. Um, you're supposed to be able to go in and explore. The only thing is, is I decided I'm going to try to get another 10 miles in. 
in order to get caught up on my miles. The water's supposed to be really cold. I think what I'm going to do though is, uh, let's see, 3.30. I think I'm going to have my dinner here and then that will be, be, turn into a longer break. And then uh, that way I can try to get these last uh, 10 miles out. <laughs> 10 miles in uh, five hours. That's crazy, but I can do it. Done it before. I'm not sure if you'll be able to see us or not, but uh, I figured I was probably gonna have to be doing some night hiking. And I think I'm about out of battery on my phone, which kind of sucks, but I am trying to get these last three or four miles in and passing by these really cool rock cliffs. <clears throat> when I get up here, I'll stop and turn around. Maybe you'll be able to see them. I doubt it though. I mean, we've seen rock cliffs before on this hike, but I just thought it was kind of cool. When I get up here, I'll turn. Yeah, you're not going to be able to see it. It was pretty cool though. Oh well, I got to get off here and try to get this done.